we're gonna watch all of this. Oh, this uh, sorry, this is the <laughs> this, this is Dark Side Phil endorsing the Kiwi Farms. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. By the way, Kiwi Farms is fucking based. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it. Every one of you bitch ass content creators out there, you're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. You're all replaceable. Every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet. Nothing positive. If you go away, the world's a better place. I want you to think about that. Give me your mailing address. I want to post it up all around Kiwi Farms. <laughs> Sorry, I had a lot of fun making this. This video is six minutes long. And usually I try to make it so that videos that I play on stream are five minutes or less. Uh, five minutes is like really pushing it because I, I stop for commentary and that like at least doubles the length of a clip. But this is probably the most unhinged I've ever heard Dark Side Phil. It's so weird because it's it's so off the wall in what he's saying that he actually sounds like Boss Man Jack instead of Dark Side Phil. Because Dark Side Phil usually tries to present himself as like a squeaky clean type of streamer. And in this, he's just like totally unhinged with his hatred. Uh, I find it very enjoyable. Now, in reality, it's funny because, you know, this is the this is the exact moment in his brain. He's trying to hold back his demons. That he wants to keep things on 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 the rails. He wants to keep things going, but at this moment, he starts stuttering and he's like, "Actually, fuck these people." By the way, how about this? I don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb fucking memes. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass. Because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. Fucking based. Uh, he is referring to a meme that had been floating around. He was playing a game, and it was some Japanese fucking game. Don't ask me what it was. Um, but he compared himself to one of the guys. It's a, oh, it's Yakuza, I think it was. And... It, you know, it's a crime game, so it's like one of those stories, I think, where you know, guys are, are trying to leave the, the, the scene, but they keep getting pulled back in, kind of like a GTA type thing. And he um he compared himself to uh, one of the characters in, in the game and said, oh, he's basically like me. My struggles as a streamer and this guy's struggles in organized crime in Japan are basically the same kind of arc if you really think about it. So a lot of people made memes like, oh my god, he's literally me with this guy from Yakuza. Uh, and uh, th this really got to him. So when he starts talking about like, oh, he's literally me, like that's what he's referring to. Just because I'm dark side Phil doesn't mean I get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. Someone in the thread left a comment that um, his dad, he was playing this on his like speakers and his dad walked into his room right as Dark Side Phil said that. And just got something out of his room, but as he like did that, he just said, "That's someone who ain't had their ass beat enough." And then just just left. <laughs> it's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're gonna tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Simple. Yeah. And I'm fucking pissed about yeah. <laughs> it. Because I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? I can't say a fact? What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? Kiss my fucking ass. Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King B bitch, you're going to say dumb <laughs> shit like that in the fucking chat. And everyone else who said that too, because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day, right? It's so, it's, I think I like this just because it is so close to Bossman Jack. He's just one fuck your mom rant away from, from, 
truly embracing boss man jackism just going out on people in the, the comments calling people rats saying that they're rat viewers talking about <laughs> just talking about shitting on kids calling them bitches and shit that's very boss man jack like you dumb fuck shut the fuck up no one cares about your bitch ass meme bill opinions there's facts, there's yes, reality, this is on and YouTube. there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense, and no one fucking cares about you except your circle jerking community. The problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it, or you shut the fuck up. Now, you got a problem with that? Test me, bitch. Because I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to have people come in here on my streams and in fucking other videos and say, Oh, he's just, oh, look, yeah, I'm like him, just like me and him. Again. Shut the fuck. No one even knows what you're talking about. I've never even heard the meme before because I'm not an asshole. I'm not a fucking dumbass, mouth drooling idiot. I don't follow the dunces follow on the internet. It's my life I'm talking about. Right? And it's true. Follow the plot of this game. Someone says it sounds like the, the low tier god kill yourself rant. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's charging this is exactly up. Exactly what I've gone through. I've lost tons of business opportunities. I've lost the ability to branch out on the internet as a content creator. Tons of people, hundreds of thousands of people will never check out my content because all they hear is conspiracies about me. Right? The, what they'll do is now they'll, they'll take this actual segment of my podcast out of context and just show, look, Phil abuses his viewers by swearing at them instead of actually showing the reason I'm doing it, that people are mistreating me, that people are, are being horrible. Show the me memes, chat. Show the else. memes. And then when I finally call it out, oh my God, look, in the game it's happening just like what happened with me. Oh, that's so cringe that he would say that. He's thinking he's such a big egotistical. Egotistical. How is it ego fucking tistic to state a fact? You fucking buffoon. You are so dumb. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. That means you're an idiot. You understand? Muted. Oh my god, I'm muted myself. I said someone sent me this and I um I wanted to know where's the lie chat? This is factually fucking based. I can't state a fact. I can't state a fact chat when it's factually fucking base. Come on. Oops, I fucked up my browser. There are a lot of people on this planet I don't like, but they say true things sometimes, and you better wise the fuck up and listen. Or shut up about it, because no one cares about you and your drama community on the internet. There is an entire culture of stuff on the internet based on this level of hatred, based on this level of hearsay and tabloid bullshit. And it's ruining people's lives. He's getting lives. to it. And this is He's is charging up. This is They're his low-tier god. He's like going into Super Saiyan. He's starting to admit like the energy and shit. There is literally no fucking reason whatsoever that I should not be in the Twitch partner program. Zero. I never did a damn thing to deserve that treatment. But a campaign of slander was held against me, and those idiots at Twitch, as unprofessionally stupid as they fucking are, said, oh, we don't want to deal with this drama, so we'll just remove him from the To be fair, the, the reason why he got kicked off of Twitch is bullshit. It was just people harassing their off-site behavior. People are like, Twitch is fucking garbage. And the fact that the trolls managed to get him cut off from Twitch is like such an indictment on how shit-ass their platform is. But he's like charging up here. He's thinking about it. The injustice is real. And he is a victim of the trolls, and he's going to tell them what he finally, finally, he's going to tell them what he really thinks. Partner program. We won't ban him from the site because I literally didn't do anything wrong. But as we remove, remove him from the program, now we have no liability. People keep complaining about this guy, right? So, yeah, it's happened to me 100% concretely. By the way, it's on Kiwi Farms. 
that when they did it years ago, they posted up all around TV farms about it. All the evidence was always there is that people want to ignore it. It's, it must be subconscious. When he starts talking about Kiwi farms, he just throws up the right hand and starts pointing out there for some reason. It's just an instinctual thing that he does, I guess. On Kiwi farms, that when they did it years ago, they posted up all around Kiwi farms about it. All the evidence was always there is that people want to ignore it. When there's evidence of all the horrible things that have happened to me, oh, that doesn't exist. That never happened. No. But any time that I do something even slightly wrong, oh, here you go. Here's all the evidence of everything Phil's ever done wrong in his 15 plus years on the internet. That's not how it fucking works. That's not fair. Okay, That's this is it. Bitches. He's breaking through Everyone now. Can't power. contain it. Really? You're all nobodies. The people who do that shit. You're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. Everyone, and every one of you bitch ass content creators out there well all you do is talk shit about people all day and you call it the news you're the most worthless humans on earth right now if you all had finger snapped away by thanos no one would care you're all replaceable every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet nothing positive you're nothing but a blight on the fucking planet. You're a big hemorrhoid on all of our fucking asses who are trying to make a positive living and help people on this planet. You're the problem. Not us, the ones who you abuse. You're the fucking problem. Get it? If you go away, the world's a better place. I want you to think about that. All you bitch-ass content creators out there, kill yourself now. The world will be better place without you. <laughs> Truly great. Uh, he needs he needs to get on over onto Rumble or Kick. That's how you grow. You should see the, some of the people that stream on Kick. There's some fucking gutter trash on Kick. Um, there's like crackheads and shit on Kick. Uh, not not even naming one specific person in particular. I mean, they're like actual like drunky crack whores on on kick and dark side phil there is an audience if he's w willing to just say whatever he wants and have fun on kick i think he can revitalize revamp his uh his brand on kick it's a place to grow chat a place to grow thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. this is the king of bold here remember to like and subscribe juice